No, don't be yeah. fooled, I guess, yeah. by what you see outside right now. Yeah, it feels pretty nice out there right now, but winter weather moving back in, and it's going to give us some much needed precip across portions of the state. Winter weather advisories in place from the northern portions of the Gila through the west central mountains and into the continental divide. Winter storm warnings in effect for the much of the northern mountains of New Mexico, including the west facing slopes of the Sun Greater Crista Mountains and into the San Juans of Colorado. The San Juans of Colorado could be looking at up to a foot of snowfall while the northern mountains in these winter storm warning areas, those west facing slopes, looking at around 6 to 12 inches of snowfall. So it's looking to be one of those better storms, at least for the end of the season sort of a deal. Most of the valley locations looking at rainfall. That's why we're only looking at those advisories and warnings for the higher terrain. Right now, we're also looking at wind advisories across much of the state, including the Albuquerque metro area and up into the northeast and down into the southwest as well. Winds will be gusting up to around 50 miles per hour throughout this afternoon and we'll continue with those gusty winds through tomorrow as well. 61 degrees the current temperature with the south wind now at 22 miles per hour sustained. Current temperatures across the rest of the state were into the 50s across a good portion of the north down into the south into the 60s and we're looking at another warm day across the southeast. 74 in Roswell, 78 in Carlsbad, 73 right now in Hobbs. We are going to be looking at cooler air eventually making it into the eastern part of the state, but that likely won't happen for the east until at least tomorrow. Shower activity now starting to ramp up across the western part of the state and into central sections. And in the metro, we'll be looking at a few showers as we move into the middle and latter part of the afternoon as well as our storm system starts to approach. The storm itself, itself still sitting off the coast of California, and it's going to take the next couple of days for all of this activity to cross the state, so we will be staying rather active throughout a good portion of the weekend, especially for that higher terrain. Strong winds this afternoon, showers developing west to east throughout the afternoon today, and we'll be looking for some of that snowfall to develop across the northern mountains. Showers will advance into central sections for tomorrow, and we'll continue with that wind, and then by Sunday, we'll start to see that storm depart into eastern Colorado. We'll hold on to a few of those lingering snow showers across the northern mountains, but we'll stay breezy across the state. Everything eventually does clear out by Monday. Super storm track breaking it down for you. You can see all that shower activity expanding across western and central parts of the state. The east going to be getting some dry air wrapping into this system for the east. So we won't be looking at as much precip across the east, but we'll have at least the chance of picking up maybe a couple of spot showers throughout today and into tomorrow. And by tomorrow morning, we'll continue with some scattered shower activity, but most of it will start to wrap up through the afternoon hours as We'll continue with that snow shower activity across the northern terrain, high terrain, but things will be calming down by Sunday and things are not looking too bad for the beginning of next week. In fact, much of next week looking very nice with a big warm up on the way. Southern Colorado, gusty winds for this afternoon, winter mix throughout the day as well. Highs into the upper 40s to low 50s. We'll be continuing those snow showers throughout the weekend and then warmer and drier to begin next week. Over the northwest, rain and Afternoon storms possible throughout the day. Temperatures into the 40s and 50s. We'll be looking for shower chances continuing on Saturday and then more sunshine and warmer temperatures for the beginning of the next week over the southwest. Winds gusting to 50 miles per hour, highs into the 60s and 70s. Showers continue throughout the weekend with cool temperatures and then we rebound those temperatures into the beginning and middle of next week. Over the southeast, spot shower possible, but the bigger story will be the winds gusting up to 50 miles per hour. Could get a couple of showers on Saturday as well and then back into the 70s by the middle of next week. Over the northeast, winds gusty here as well, up to 50 miles per hour, highs into the 60s and 70s, only into the low 40s for Saturday and Sunday with showers continuing, drier and warmer for the beginning of next week over the northern mountains. Winds gusting to 45 miles per hour. We'll have that chance of showers through Saturday and Sunday with those cooler temperatures, then back to around 60 degrees by the start of next week over the east mountains. Winds gusting to 50 miles per hour, scattered showers, highs into the low 60s. Same story for the metro, low 60s this afternoon, winds gusting to 45 miles per hour and the chance of showers throughout, especially the middle and latter part of the afternoon. We'll hold on to those chances through Saturday and early Sunday before things start to clear out and look at next week back to more sunshine and back to 70 degrees by Thursday, back to what we were starting <laughs> yesterday. It's kind of like a little roller coaster yeah, up and, and down. That time of the year for the temperature roller coaster as well. All right, John, thank you.